In this video, you're going to learn my proven outreach method for landing YouTuber clients with millions of subscribers for your video editing. I see 99% of video editors doing outreach completely wrong and they really struggle to gain any high quality clients. That's why I've created this action plan for you so that by the end of this video, you're going to know the exact method that allows me to work alongside and meet YouTubers with millions of subscribers time and time again and get paid thousands of dollars for doing so. If you nail this method, you can work with almost anyone you want with just a few hours of work. The other month I sent one piece of outreach and received over 20 responses from large YouTubers with 100,000 subscribers or more asking me to work for them. And that was all made possible with what I call high value outreach. First up we have to choose a style of content and also a niche. When I first started video editing I went into it dead set on only editing content that I would watch. And this actually allowed me to pick up a million subscriber client in only a few weeks. So how do we do this? You're going to want to choose a type of content. Long form for YouTube, short short form for TikTok shorts or reels, or even video sales letters for websites. Then pick a niche. Either pick one that you're interested in or just pick one of the highest monetized niches on YouTube because generally speaking, these creators will have more money to pay you to edit their videos. So now we've got a rough plan of exactly who we're looking to target and what we're going to offer them. Surely we can just pick a few of these YouTubers and send them a quick email, right? Absolutely not. Before I started video editing, I actually helped local businesses with their digital marketing. And this set me up well for building a solid foundation and personal brand before reaching out to potential clients. This part is absolutely critical to your success. These large YouTubers or media businesses are looking for professional and trustworthy editors. So how do we show people that we don't know that we're trustworthy and professional? I'm not saying don't show your hobbies or don't have a laugh online, but just aim to keep your presentation and your post smart and professional. I recommend setting up a Twitter and LinkedIn profile, each with a professional image of you and all smartly presented. You can even post high value content to build a small audience and convey trust to potential clients. One of the first things I would also do is to build a nicely branded website. Clients aren't going to stumble across your website on Google, but they likely will click onto your profile and have a look at your website when we come on to doing outreach later on. So it's important that your website shows you are capable and trustworthy and is nicely branded. Base your profile and website from proven concepts. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just find people who are where you want to be and take the best parts of their website and profiles. Of course, don't directly copy this, but take inspiration from proven concepts. In terms of building a website for your video editing services, I've tried about five of the top website providers over the years, and I personally love Squarespace for its ease of use and features. As well as this, I recommend getting set up with a Stripe or PayPal account to handle client payments later on. Now, this next point is where a lot of editors get it completely wrong. You need to be strategic about this next point, or you're completely wasting your time. Let's create a hit list of people who we are going to do outreach to. This step could make or break your outreach. We've got two ways to do this and each have their benefits. The first of which is you can have a look at ytjobs.co, which is a job listing site and find YouTubers that are in your niche and hiring. I'd only recommend this if you are a high level editor because you should expect a fair amount of competition with this method. Lots of editors could be applying for these roles. Although in the next step, I'll show you how to stand out above all this competition. It is still worth bearing in mind that you will be competing against other editors that could be better than you. The second option is to simply go in cold and create a list based on YouTubers that you'd like to work with. This might sound ridiculous as they could not even be hiring, but due to how quickly the industry is growing and how genuinely difficult it is to find good editors, I've personally found that there is a massive demand for good editors to the extent where maybe 95% of YouTubers are looking for an editor at any given time. So I put together a quick hit list on a note taking app of YouTubers in my niche that I'd love to work with. It's best to go after YouTubers with 100,000 subscribers or above who are monetizing their channels well. The highest paying clients are the ones who are business people first and YouTubers second, or those who have millions of subscribers, they're in a solid niche, they've got a solid business or sponsors. That's how you can guarantee that they have enough money to pay you well as an editor. It's all about evaluating their channel size, business and marketing to the best extent you can. Before we move on, make sure that they are easy to contact and you have their email and preferably Twitter. Once I've got this hit list, the next part is where the magic really happens and the whole point of this outreach method comes into play. Lots of editors spend their time doing very low value outreach. And this means you can send out hundreds or thousands of emails and never hear a single thing back. Or you could have a Fiverr profile for years and never stand out enough against the competition to land an actually good client. So what separates this low value outreach from the high value outreach that I do, where I can send out one single piece of this outreach and hear back from 20 big YouTubers. The key is in high value, high
high effort outreach. You're going to want to show your value and your editing skills up front, which also in turn shows them how passionate you are about working for them. But that's not as awful as it sounds. You're going to want to work down the creators on your hit list and find podcasts, old videos, or just some footage from them that is unedited. Then you can download this video, drag it into your editing software, and invest a ton of time in re-editing it to be the best video possible. But make sure it's within their style. I'm talking adding captions in their fonts, adding relevant b-roll that you can get from their other videos, adding music that fits the tone and style, and so on. Make this a brilliant video. Don't be afraid to invest a lot of time into this. Have faith in the proven concept that if you share high quality work into a high growth market with a high demand for editing, of course you're going to see a high return. If you're a YouTuber who makes $20,000 a video and you have a big problem of not having any time to edit because it takes ages and you're busy filming and planning your videos, would you hire the guy who's shown his value up front, is super professional and passionate, or the NPC who's emailed you three times this week begging for a chance? You'll go for the first guy who's clearly spent hours on showing you his value and showing you how much he wants to help you. If you're a good video editor and you're putting enough creativity and effort into these sample videos, your response rate should be high. If not, reevaluate if you are skilled enough yet to land this level of client and just keep working on it. So now we've got our sample video, how on earth do we reach these incredibly busy YouTubers who have their inboxes flooded with emails and actually get their attention? Quickly before I tell you that, I've actually summarized this entire video and a few bonus points into a brand new free cheat sheet for you to download that you can get with the second link in the description. Next up, we're going to work on an email that is professional, easy to read, and most of all, gets our point across quickly. This is where many editors let themselves down, so listen up if you want to be successful with this. You're going to want to structure your email into the why, what, how structure, which is a copywriting technique used to structure information in the best and clearest way possible. This whole video you're watching now even uses it. Start off with why they should care, why you're contacting them, and lead with the most important thing, your sample video. Then move on to the what or the main point of your email. It would be a pleasure to work with you on your editing. I love your content. And then finally the how or how they can contact you to work together. I've actually created 10 proven outreach templates just for you and put them inside my free community of video editors. You can't find these on ChatGPT because they are proven to work. So now we've got a nice professional email typed up and ready to send. Do not send it just yet without following this next step or your email and all your hard work might simply just get missed. These YouTubers are busy people and they might miss one single email in their inbox so we're going to want to hit them on multiple platforms. I personally use Twitter to tweet and DM them a super shortened down version of my email. Again you can find the outreach templates for this in my free community but Twitter seems to be where most of these big YouTubers hang out online and by sending them a tweet and a DM alongside your email it just makes sure they're not going to miss it and your tweet can even go viral if your edit is good enough. Going semi-viral in my niche on Twitter was actually actually how I was able to get 20 plus potential clients, big YouTubers, in my inbox asking to work with me from sending out one piece of outreach, one sample video. If your tweet hits the algorithm, tons of other big YouTubers and creators could see it and would want to work with you too. You can offer the project file for a like and a retweet, but to be honest, I think most people that do this will just end up with a Twitter following full of video editors, not their ideal clients. By doing this, you're intentionally advertising to the complete wrong group of people with the hopes that the right group will see it. So direct your outreach to the YouTuber themselves, leave out the cheap engagement grabs because they look a bit desperate and they target the wrong group of people altogether, and feel free to follow up a few days later if they don't respond or simply move on to the next person on your hit list. Now let's say you've done all of these steps so far. You've got a YouTuber with 500,000 subscribers in your inbox and they ask to go on a quick call with you to make sure you're both on the same page. Time to panic. Of course I'm only kidding but I always used to get very nervous before these calls but there is no need to worry. No one's trying to catch you out or ask you impossible questions. Some YouTubers might ask you to jump on a call simply so the YouTuber can get a better idea of your experience, you as a person and how you can work together. The key here is to make sure that the professional and trustworthy look that you have on your social media profile is carried over to what you're actually like. Present yourself professionally and be as smart as you can and share with them exactly how you can help them. I've actually recorded a live sales call for a $4,000 client that you can find within my program, Editors Academy. 
Within Editors Academy, you'll get instant access to my proven five-step formula to success that covers everything from actually learning how to edit a video, as well as key skills that are essential in the content world like storytelling, how to go viral, taking on high-ticket clients on demand, and of course, scaling your video editing to thousands of dollars each month. You'll gain instant access to hours of video content, cheat sheets and resources, a thriving community of like-minded editors in your position, feedback on your videos from me and the community, one-to-one -one access to me to review your progress or work, weekly live training events, and so much more. My mission is to help the past version of me, the version that was stuck not knowing where to start with firstly learning video editing and then making money from it. So feel free to check out Editors Academy. It's the first link in the description. Now, moving on. That's all great until the YouTuber asks this one question and suddenly the world comes crashing down. What is your pricing? Pricing is incredibly important and something that I got very wrong when I was first starting out with video editing. I wasted a lot of time underpricing my work. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how much to charge as there is no golden number, so please don't ask me this. But firstly, choose if you'd rather get paid per video, per month, or per hour. This just comes down to whatever fits the project and you best. I prefer per video for videos that I know exactly how long they'll take-ish, or per day or per month for longer term projects. Once you've decided on that, have a think about how confident you are that you can edit a very good video for this person, how much money they are likely to make from your video if you do a great job job, how much value you're adding to their business or channel, and how long the project will take you. Factor in all of those things and come up with a number that works for you and the client. But don't be afraid to be bold and charge slightly more than what you're comfortable asking for. Thank you for watching.